Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So today we celebrate Saint John Paul II, uh, the Holy Father who, of course, many of us um, grew up with. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who chose blessed John Paul II to preside over your whole people and benefit them by word and example, keep safe, we pray, by his intercession, the shepherds of your church, along with the flocks entrusted to their care, and direct them in the way of eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and the length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. 
the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus, in the Gospels, in general, speaks a lot about unity. I think about the, his prayer, Jesus' prayer to the Heavenly Father uh, right before his passion. He prays that they may all be one. But today, he reminds us of the reality that living out our faith will at times bring division, even very powerful and hurtful divisions, such as a son against his father or a mother against her daughter. To accomplish this work of ushering in the kingdom of God, division will sometimes occur. Of course, our goal is unity but we have to be faithful to the truth of God. And sometimes that truth, even though it is truth, at times it's not accepted and it causes conflict or division. But may we be faithful to this gospel message first, while at the same time striving for unity and peace among all people. As we pray for unity among the children of God, 
let us pray, let us bring these prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the leaders of our nation, that they will prayfully turn to God for guidance on issues that affect our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children who are unwanted by their parents, that God's grace might send others to love them and care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a sense of social responsibility as our citizens turn out to vote. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may learn to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the COVID-19 pandemic and for healing for those who have it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, and who are dying, and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Al Li, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we pray that through the prayers that we bring you, you may keep us united as we strive to follow the truth. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed John Paul II, a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Paul II, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together We may be gathered together into we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So Bishop Burns has highly encouraged us to receive communion in the hand. If you're not willing to do that, I invite you, please uh, go to Deacon, uh, Deacon Samuel today or the other Eucharistic minister.
Prayer, spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed John Paul II bird burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church, through Christ our Lord. And as we prepare for the feast day of our patron, St. Jude, on October 28th, we will pray the Novena to St. Jude. St. Jude, holy apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, you are honored in petition by the universal church as the patron of desperate, hopeless, and impossible cases. Pray for me, intercede for me, that Almighty God may bring swift aid where it is needed most. Come to my assistance in my times of need. Pray for me, that I may be given the comfort and help of Jesus. Most importantly, I ask that you pray that I may one day join you and all the saints in heaven to praise God in consolation, rest, and joy for all eternity. I will honor you as my patron, as so many have before me, because of the graces God gives freely at your request. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.